From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by Northway Bank. Get big savings close to home with Northway Bank's Community Sense Digital Coupon Book. Filled with valuable money-saving coupons from hundreds of Northway Bank business customers. Visit NorthwayBank.com for more info. Northway Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Two prominent farm families in the Valley are being recognized for their community contributions and efforts to sustain local agriculture. Jack Cuddy, the economic director of the Mount Washington Valley Economic Council, says the Weston and Sherman families will be recognized at the council's annual dinner tonight. Both families will be awarded the Bob Morrill Award for Civic Entrepreneurship, named in honor of the late co-founder of Storyland and Heritage, New Hampshire, and established to honor and remember the qualities Morrill demonstrated as a business and community leader. U.S. Senator Gene Shaheen is scheduled to give the keynote address at the annual dinner tonight at the Red Jacket Mountain View Resort in North Conway. The spokesman says the senator will discuss her efforts to promote job creation and economic growth in New Hampshire. Cuddy says the Weston and Sherman Farm families are being recognized for their part in supporting a relatively recent farm-to-table initiative in the Valley that's resulted in farmers' markets and local independent restaurants like the Valley Originals that buy and support locally produced food products. The Weston family has farmed on the banks of the Saco River in Freiburg, Maine, since 1799 and operates a farm stand at the farm and in Conway. Phyllis and her late husband Al Sherman founded Sherman Farm on East Conway Road in 1964. The stations of Mount Washington Radio Group support Sherman Farm in its annual fall agritainment event, the Cornfield Maze. Portions of proceeds from the event are donated to local charities. Michelle Dutton, the granddaughter of Al and Phyllis, is business manager and partner at Sherman Farm. She says the 150-acre farm operates a year-round farm stand that offers locally produced milk, meat products, flowers, and vegetables from asparagus all the way to zucchini. We bottle our milk in reusable glass bottles. We have a lot of conservation methods that we use to preserve the topsoil, maintain organic matter in our soil. We do a lot of cover cropping for weed control. We use a lot of low pressure watering directly to the plants, directly to the root balls so that there's no water wasted. Basically, it's just preserving the land that we have right here that's been in our family for three generations now, going on number four. Dutton says her family is honored to get the award that will be presented by Morrill's widow, Miriam Morrill. The event starts at 6 o'clock tonight. For more information about it, call the Economic Council at 603-447-6622. In Maine, news officials say about 4,000 Mainers could lose unemployment benefits next month. The Department of Labor says recipients of extended unemployment compensation will lose their benefits December 28th unless extended by Congress. Republican Governor Paul LePage says Maine residents who rely on the benefits need to make financial plans now. Democratic U.S. Representative Mike Michaud is co-sponsoring a bill to extend EUC for another year and urging his colleagues to work an extension into the budget deal. In sports, Massachusetts beat Nebraska 96-90 to open the Charleston Classic yesterday. That's men's basketball. Number 25 Marquette withstood a scare from New Hampshire in a 58-53 win last night. And number 18, UConn beat Boston College 72-70. In hockey, the St. Louis Blues beat the Boston Bruins 3-2 last night. In the weather today, a special weather advisory in effect this morning until 10 o'clock. A winter weather advisory. Cloudy today, rain showers likely, or a chance of sleet this morning. Then a chance of rain showers this afternoon. Highs of the lower 40s with light winds. Body tonight, a chance of rain showers in the evening. Then a chance of rain showers or sleet after midnight. Lows in the upper 20s, around 30 in southern Carroll County. Light winds becoming northwest 10 to 15 miles per hour after midnight. And partly sunny on Saturday. Highs in the upper 30s. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gear McKenzie.